guys welcome back to our channel we're here with another weekly favorites sorry we didn't have one last week we really try to get these out but we've been so busy mm -hmm. um but we're back and we have some really good things to share with you first of all we got these new pillows they're outdoor pillows they're just like a cream and black pattern and they were on sale for ten dollars at target mm -hmm. recently target had like a flash sale it was 30 percent off like a bunch of home decor items and i saw that like all their outdoor pillows went on sale and outside we just have like a cream or no it's like a tan color mm -hmm. a tan like sectional on our small patio and we had like just some bed pillows that were like left like throw pillows mm -hmm. um but the the sun like faded them so much they just looked really bad they didn't match anything so we really needed new outdoor pillows and when i saw these were on sale i was like we have to get some they're only ten dollars they're uv um resistant, resistant. so mm -hmm. they won't fade which is great especially when something's black you don't want it to fade and it's scotch guard so it's like stain proof too and they're really like actually really thick nice pillows yeah like they'd be comfortable yeah mm -hmm. and so for ten dollars it's actually such a steal highly recommend but target has like a really nice selection but i want to point these out because they're black and white i feel like they would match so many homes yeah okay um next up i'll do the trader joe's I yeah know. we don't have these with us because we ate them all so quickly and then have you checked and seen if they had more no i don't remember where they were well, there's the pecan or the praline pecans. No, pecan praline. Pecan pralines. Mm -hmm. Um, from Trader Joe's, and they're basically just like toffeed pecans. They're like, so good. If you've ever had those, like from, from the fair. Yeah, like from like fairs where they have that like caramely like sugar on them. Crunch. And they're so delicious. And these were phenomenal. Like honestly, I want to pick up another tub, but we went through it. We so ate them so fast quickly because we have we always have a lot of dessert in the house or like sweets. But we had quite an assortment, and I would just reach for those. Like, they oh. are so good. They're delicious. So good. They're, like, one of the best things I've ever had from Yeah, Carter they're Joe's. kind of expensive. I can't remember but the price. But not nuts. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I can't remember the price, but they were I just I want to say, like, $6. Yeah, they were more than, like, the peanut butter cups mm -hmm. or something. But we'll, link, we'll try to include a photo, and then um, if they have a link on their website. But they don't usually. Yeah, they do sometimes. Yeah, but I don't think these they have yeah. on there. But we'll, we'll try to give you some information down below. Okay, next is a book. I just finished this book um, last night, actually. Or, yeah, last night. Uh, this is called Hey Ladies, and I bought it because of the cover. I think it's so, so cute. cute. Um, I really like, like, fluff books that I can just read really quickly. As I was saying, next is this book called Hey Ladies. I really like this type of book. Um, it's just, like, a fluff book about a group of friends. I don't know. I'd like to switch off, as I said before. Like, I really like suspense, like, mystery novels true crime on occasion but at the end of the day i really just like to sit down and read a book that's gonna like make me smile and this is about the story of eight best friends one year and way too many emails and the interesting thing about the layout is that it's all emails so i don't know if you can tell but it's like just email correspondence between this group of friends so it was a really interesting read in that respect like just the format itself was really interesting and i did a full review on goodreads i know a lot of you follow me on there now so check out that review but in conclusion mm -hmm. i really did like this book i thought it was cute i gave it three out of five stars because it wasn't anything like groundbreaking but it was re really quick to read and um at first it was kind of hard to know like who was writing because they are set up like an email so it says the name but i didn't really know like each girl's storyline because there's eight of them but by the middle of the book i was like on it i knew like what was happening and they're also like it's surrounding one of the girls weddings which is fun and it goes from new year's eve to new year's eve so i loved that i thought it was a really cute quick read okay and next up is another form of entertainment dvds <laughs> Um, if you guys remember what a DVD is, we still have some. I love them. I think we told you our story. We definitely told you this story. We definitely did. Um, about how Britta especially had, like, a giant collection of DVDs. Yeah. I mean, both of us, like, friends would get us, like, old Mary Kate and Ashley movies mm -hmm. that are only on DVD. Um, we had just a collection of DVDs. Like, how that many I watched say? regularly. Um. Well, she has one in her TV. I don't have one. Yeah. Um, um maybe, like, 500? No, not that many. Not that many? No, no, no. It's such a big book. Maybe like 300. Yeah. A lot of DVDs. We moved into this place like nearly two years ago. And it was one of the cases where uh -huh. you like depot or uh, yeah, depackage yeah. the DVDs. Mm -hmm. um, the case was left in an entertainment unit that we were disposing of. And so you know where that ends. And they, we have like home videos in there. Mm -hmm. How embarrassing. They ended up in the trash. Um, very sad and unfortunate. So we have like no DVDs now. No, we didn't have them in the trash. Someone took 
the unit with the DVDs in it. Someone has our DVDs. Oh yeah, that's true. I mean, most likely they threw them in the, the home yeah, video portions yeah. in the trash. Hopefully. Um, and so Tommy, Britta's boyfriend, gifted her, but really us, because yeah. we both watch it, the two broke girls, the complete one through six series, the complete series, so it's season one through six. Um, we love this show. We, we love it. We had one through five. We did, we did. Mm -hmm. um, when it was on, we watched it all the time. Yeah. It was a show on CBS, if you've never heard of it. It centers around these two broke girls, Max and Caroline, and they both work in a Williamsburg and Brooklyn diner, and they are broke, and it's just like their story of start starting a cupcake business. Yeah. And it's just really funny. Caroline used to be rich, and then now she's broke. Max has been poor her whole life, so it's like their dynamic. And it's just a comedy, but it's really funny. It's a little raunchy, which normally we don't like. Yeah. But the humor is like light still. Yeah. It's just like a light comedy. Um, it's such a good show. We loved it when it was on. We were really sad when it ended. So it's really fun to be watching it back, especially because we started on season one. Yeah, so and so those long were ago. years ago. I mean, we were in like community college. Yeah, when it for sure. And so mm -hmm. it's great to have the DVDs back because mm -hmm. this is a show that we would watch on DVD, and we never owned um, the complete six the, the series. Sixth season. Mm -hmm. Yes, or sixth season. So now we have it all. We're starting mm -hmm. from season one. Highly recommend if you've never seen it. Okay, and last up is a toothpaste. I feel like we talk about toothpaste so much, but we're like trying to find out ones we like. We like keep buying different ones. Well, we buy a lot of Hello. Hello, we, love we really love them because they don't use any artificial um, flavoring or like just any unnecessary chemicals really. Mm -hmm. And so I had been using like the sensitive one, which is in the pink bottle. And then I ordered this one and they sent me accidentally a fluoride free watermelon kids version, which actually smelled so good. But I wanted one with fluoride because I want um, to prevent cavities. And I go back and forth. Sometimes it's like, some people say fluoride's bad for you, you shouldn't use it. And a lot of times people say it's good for you to prevent cavities. So I'm back on it. And this is their naturally whitening fluoride toothpaste. It's farm grown mint and it has tea tree and coconut oil. And the added tea tree I love so much because it makes your teeth feel so clean. Which like their charcoal clean. one that's black yeah. also made our teeth feel so clean, but the black was just too messy. It was too much. So this is like a great alternative. It's so good. And they actually have on Ulta.com, they have a travel size that I'm gonna pick up. Um, because right now Ulta has like a coupon going on too, but it's $2.50 for a travel size. And since this is like my new favorite toothpaste, I wanna get it so I can use it when I'm traveling as well but and you also get 4.7 ounces this tube was bigger than the sensitive um, teeth one so I feel like you get a lot of product like it's pretty on par with like Crest like the pr pricing mm -hmm. wise but love the packaging and love what this brand does so highly recommend is that everything Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's everything for this week's weekly favorites. And again, we're sorry we didn't have one last week. We're trying to do one every week. We know you guys like them and we yeah. love doing them. And hopefully you had a good week. 